Okay, you know what? We have to got to do the family friendly stuff until we get to a point where it's like, let's put out the funny shit now. I used to watch him when I would ask questions about Jumanji and I was talking about weeders. Do you know if any of these don't have mozzarella cheese on them? I'm allergic. You see that and you're like, oh, I want that meat in my mouth mm -hmm. right now. Cheers. Cheers. Episode one. Here we go. All right, so uh, welcome to the uh, very first episode of Behind the Bar. Uh, I'm Bruce. I'm Trevor. You sound so excited. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I told let's, you. It's been let's a long start day. with shots. Do us a favor: like the video, subscribe to our channel. This is our first iteration, and hopefully, we're gonna get much better. We're we only will gonna get better. We will get much better. Uh, Mar mix. This is uh, wow. Has it been that long? This is from 2010. It looks like just soap. Uh, it's actually pretty good, but it's tequila, uh, some sort of tequila mix, a, a mar mix from Mexico. Okay. We've had it. Uh, well, let's just, let's give it a shot. Are you pulling straight from the bottle? No, 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 no. Okay. Preparation. Yeah. H. <laughs> All right. So it's not, I, I don't think it's a, uh, like a straight tequila, liqueur de citricose, all tequila. So, okay, so some sort of. Is it Listerine sort of, flavored or not? No, it still tastes like tequila. Oof. All right, man. Cheers. Cheers. Episode one. Here we go. Mm. Ooh. Citrusy. Really good, yeah. Kind of tastes a little bit like a, um, like a pixie stick. Yeah. Mixed with tequila. Right. Uh, the next drink I'm going to be drinking is the Soul Chilada, commonly in uh, my household known as the Chilele. Yeah. Uh, mine's a pretty standard Voodoo Ranger. I think most of our friends know exactly what this is. Cheers. Cheers, man. <laughs> I met David Spade once. Uh uh I didn't. I didn't meet him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grab another beer. I might as well get another beer. You should take another shot too. Are you gonna take another shot? Or what? If you are. Uh, not of that, sorry. I'm gonna pour a shot while I do this. I, it was, I think I was supposed to come out. No, I was supposed to send you the video footage that it was either the night of or maybe the day after we did that first video. I had a buddy contact me after Haley and I had been hanging out. It was our weekend, so we had been partaking and hanging out. Cheers. Cheers, brother. I had a friend call me and tell me his girlfriend had just left him. He came over and we um, <laughs> proceeded to essentially drink for two days straight. Together? Yeah, together. And there was a moment where we got hungry and so we went to Cub. There's an employee there stocking the pizzas. Like, like, like restoring like them. Yeah, like restoring them, not, restoring. not not like watching them from a bush <laughs> he was outside their window. Super creepy with the pizzas. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me, do you know if any of these don't have mozzarella cheese on them? I'm allergic. Are you allergic? I brought my EpiPen, it'll be fine. Oh my god, if this is what we're supposed to do, then the entire last 30 minutes is useless. One thing that I saw recently on TikTok was that if you say apple... And with a lisp? No, if you just say apple and hold your face as soon as you're done saying apple, that that's your model pose. You just do apple. <laughs> that's how you should take your pictures. Apple. With your tongue out? Like your tongue to the front of your mouth and like... Okay, okay. Okay, apple. check this out, check this out. Apple. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it for real. Give, for it, real give it a, a real full... <laughs> Full throttle <laughs> shot here. Apple. <laughs> Maybe you add a little smirk after? I don't remember. Apple. Reviewing gas station pizzas. We have two different kinds here tonight. I see a pizza oven right there. There is a pizza oven. We can literally cook them right here. Should we get one started? We just ate. <laughs> Let's cook two pizzas. Who cares? We just ate a pork loin dinner. We're going to cook two pizzas for you, and we're going to come right back, and we are going to compare them. All right, guys. And we're just going to critique some pizza. We're going to do something that we enjoy, and we know you will enjoy watching us enjoy. We are going to be extremely, extremely critique of these pizzas. So, what do we have up? 
Number that. one, your standard cup favorite. Lots of matzo. Lots of matzo. Pepperoni and sausage. We're going to put that against your standard quick trip. The meat sweats. Meat sweats. All right. Let's uh, get them in the oven, and uh, we'll be back in however long it takes. However long it takes to cook two pizzas. Do you guys like inconsistency? Yeah, because, sure. yeah, we've got it. Uh, oh my god, it's like dripping water. I'm pretty sure that's like what ancient ninjas used. No, it's. What's gonna be our call sign noise? Too hard to pronounce. Doesn't make sense. That's that's a pretty easy one, right? Nah, that's like saying nah -uh and aha. Uh nah, -huh. <laughs> nah. -huh. Confirming and also denying what you just said. Nah. -huh. It's a universal sign of confusion. <laughs> All right. I like it. I'm okay with that. So, we've got the lots of matzo cooking. I've had a lots of matzo, so I have too. I Excuse honestly me. have never had a meat sweats. So this is <laughs> have a, you ever had the meat sweats? I have had the meat sweats. I mean. <clears throat> yes, I've had the meat sweats. Okay. What do those feel like? Expansion. I'm pretty sure there's heat generation through uh, some sort of chemical reaction. Getting down with the ham. It would probably come up with better content if we had a limit, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything. I've never known one thing. I knew, I knew a thing once. I don't even remember what it was. Jesus. You shouldn't have done that. You're just the boy. I'm making such a mess over here. You shouldn't have done that. How do you do that? <laughs> Thanks for sticking around with us, because... And Should you take a shot? You might not be. No, I'm drunk. Are you? Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to let this bad boy cool on the bar. Give me that, that, that okay, meat give me sweats. That, give me that, 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 give me that, that. All right, so we have the cooked lots of matzo, and we have the uncooked meat sweats. The meat sweats has a lot more meat. The lots of matzo has a lot more matzah so uh let's get the meat sweats in the oven and uh we'll let this one cool down to a good eating temperature and then we'll uh come back with you friends yeah huh choose a song to play every time you finish having sex from the time you arrive on the planet and blinking step into the sun or light <laughs> Everybody know what come next, Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> yes, child. I'll bring you up a piece of pizza in 18 minutes. Trevino cracking up a toot. What was that guy? The Blade close. Runner. What was his name? Oscar Pistorius. Is that what it is? No, he or... shot his girlfriend through the bathroom door. Oh, I, oh, I don't know the details, but that dude runs really fast on not yeah, even he's, two he's, legs. So. Yeah, just... Several minutes into the second pizza cooking, what I will say is the lots of matzo uh, evoked drippage. Yes. Queso secretion. I also had to turn it in order for it to cook uh, appropriately. So far, the meat sweats is cooking very evenly, and I can tell by trying to pick up the bottom of it because I opened it to see if it needed a turn. Uh, the crust definitely seems more crispy. Crispy crust. Crispy crust on the meat sweats. I was gonna try to alliterate, I couldn't come up with anything. I do have to say prosthetics these days are, as Charlie would put it, would you rather always wear high heels or a belly shirt? I'd rather wear a belly shirt. I'd high rather wear a belly are shirt too. So dangerous. You can't yeah, you can't run away from a bobcat wearing high heels. You definitely can't go hiking. You could never heels. run away from a bobcat wearing high heels, obviously. Could you imagine if a bobcat even got high heels on in the first place? <laughs> could you imagine now I'm imagining it. I'm trying to think how you could make like tactical high heels. 
I'm going to go snowshoeing in my high heels. Glue a tennis racket on the bottom. <laughs> it might be something that we have to try and make. Put that on the list. Tactic tactical tactical high, heels. high heels. That is actually something we should do. We should do that. We could go shopping for high heels our size. And find tennis, old tennis rackets. Yes, and we get footage of us just shopping for high heels in general. Yeah, when they ask us, um, is there a special location or something you guys are looking to use these with or whatever? Yeah, snow showing. <laughs> Pull this goddammer out of the pizza oven. Yeah. Ooh, that looks pretty darn delicious right there. So let's get this over here around all of our audio and video equipment. Wow. Yeah, that is a gold deer inlay and that is a gold bass <laughs> inlay just for all of you YouTube fams oh yeah look at that oh man all right so top view it looks so good uh oh it's hot yeah so that one's hot this one's already cooled down a little bit all right so lots of matzah meat sweats we're gonna tell you i can tell you what i think is gonna taste better. the pros and cons of each let's do it oh nike had it right just do it i need a beer yeah uh -huh. So we're waiting for our pizzas to cool here while they're cooling you. How about you tell us in the comments down below which pizza you think looks better, lots of matzo or meat sweats. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell up here in this corner or that corner, or I don't know if we've even gotten that far to where we know. nothing there. It's actually going to be <laughs> below the video. To where we know how to do that yet. Um, like the video. You should definitely like it. We're gonna take you on some adventures. We're gonna do some reviews like this. We're gonna do some just miscellaneous content. You better like it. You better like it. You should do that. You should like you it. You should do that. You should like it. How long do we gotta let these cool time? That one we should probably cut and try. We have to try them at the same time. No, we're gonna try one and then the do other. Do you want little plates? We're gonna cut these up. And then no. we're gonna come right back. Just go like this. Because I'm gonna give. Well, I gotta give my child one before he goes to bed. So, we have the lots of matzo. We have the meat sweats. We're each gonna grab a piece here and we're gonna tell you what we think. Should we do the same? Yeah, let's do or the different? same. Let's do the okay. same. Okay. We don't need to do that. Just grab a piece, right? Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, you, I you like gotta, crust, I like crust. Yes, you gotta go with an edge piece, right? Okay, yeah, so cheers. Cheers. Mm. All right, so tell me what you're feeling. It is just a solid pizza. The flavor is good. Nothing is too overpowering. I feel like it's very balanced. It is. The sauce is good. It's a little bit tangy. Mm -hmm. It's almost like there's two crusts. Mm -hmm. There's like, there's like a, a bottom crust. That's the actual crust. And then there's like a top crust. Which that's is the cheese. The the matzo crust, which is mm -hmm. I like that. I like that texture. If I'm eating like a, a real pizza, I definitely don't want my cheese to be a crust. But in this case, it's a frozen pizza, so and it's I mean, appropriate. The name basically told you what to expect, right? It's a lot of matzo. Mm -hmm. The meat on this one is also all underneath the cheese, unless oh, you get wow, to the that's edges. Also a good observation. On this one, uh, the, it looks like there's some cheese underneath the meat, but maybe also a small sprinkling of cheese oh, above man. the meat. So. Oh man. Hold on. Okay. Clear the damn palate. Yep. All right, I think it's cleared now. All right, you're going there. I'm going, I'm going here. The first thing that I notice here is that the aroma from the sausage is definitely a little bit spicier. Yes, and also the ingredients are underneath that cheese, but there's just basically no uniformity to this whatsoever. Like some of the ingredients are underneath, some of them are on top. I feel like it was just thrown together with all sorts of love. Cheers, bro. Definitely a tangier sausage. A little bit more spicy. Definitely got a kick. 
I'd say the, the crust is a little crispier, but I'll give it that it was cooked more recently. So that might have an impact on the actual crust, not the cheese crust. I think I like the sauce on the lots and lots of better. I don't know if I can pull the actual sauce flavor out on this pizza. I'm getting so much yeah, there's of that not, sausage flavor. The lots of matzo sauce tastes fresher. This I will tastes agree. more like it was from a can. I, I agree with that. Overall, I do like spicy, so I do appreciate that. The crust on the meat sweats, it's more like layered. It's like flaky layers. It's like... Did Pillsbury make this? I don't know. You can see the layers built into it, which I definitely like. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can just get a taste of the, the sauce here. Oh, you're definitely right. That that does taste like it came out of a can. Mm -hmm. If they put that sauce, the lots and lots of sauce on the meat sweats pizza, boom. Probably a game changer. Mm -hmm. But what about the like the visual appeal? Meat sweats. Meat sweats for meat sure. Meat sweats for sure, man. Absolutely. If you were gonna take a girl home, which one would it be? Either way, we're going to win. Either way, the team has won. 1 to 10. Mm. We're ranking in 1 to 10 here, which is new because I didn't know we were doing that. I thought we were choosing one or the other. No, I just came up with that. I was thinking of maybe choosing, but I feel like a ranking system. If we're going to do this again, I feel like a ranking system would be useful. Yeah, I think I think we definitely need to do that. We can actually like put a, a spreadsheet together. Yep. Assuming I have no context of any other frozen or bar pizza ever in the past, yeah. I think I would have to give a slight edge to the meat sweats because of the flaky crust, the little bit more spice content. I think I would put the meat sweats at a 7 out of 10. I think okay. I would put the lots of matza at a close 6. Okay. I'm going to swap those numbers. Okay. I think I'm putting lots of matza at a 7 because I feel like the sauce is a foundation on which a pizza is built. And if you can't kill it with the sauce, then you're just trying to hide what you've already ruined. I'm gonna say lots of matzo seven, meat sweats six. Tell us what you like. Lots of matzo, meat sweats, do your own review. Post the video down below in a response to ours, if you can do that, I don't know. Something. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave us a comment down below on which pizza you like better. Uh, we didn't actually say what brand it was. Meat Sweats, Pothole. Um, lots of matzo is its own brand, it's it's everywhere. Oh, like button, subscribe button. Like, oh, comment. comment, notifications, like, yes. Notified, subscribed, subscribed comment. comment. Thank you guys for joining us on this very first episode of Behind the Bar. We don't know what we're gonna do from here. It might be more pizza reviews, it might be getting hammered and taking you out on adventures. Tell us what you want to see. We will make it happen. Like we said at the beginning, this is Bet Media Moguls. We I'm are. Trevor. I'm Bruce. See you next time. Yeah. I just watched the Queen's Gambit too, so. Did you like it? I know exactly how to play chess fast. Really nice. And from a woman's perspective. <laughs>